What time is it? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button and it's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-I Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this review started. Let's talk about the new Blumhouse movies. Because lately on Amazon Prime, I guess in the, this month, the month of October, maybe it's something special because Halloween's coming up. And these Blumhouse movies, they kind of, they're a little creepy. They're not really scary, scary Halloween, but they, they're kind of suspenseful and thriller. Last week, I watched one called The Lie. And today, a new one came out called The Evil Eye. This is my jam right here. It's got... The, it's a, the Indian focus, you know, half of it's taking place in New Delhi, the other half in New Orleans. That's where I was born, New Orleans. So how can, I had to watch it. It's mixing all my favorite things together. I didn't know what the evil eye was about. Like, the, the, the superstition about it. Apparently, you can cast a curse on somebody just by giving them the evil eye. Well, now that I must have been cursing my kids a lot because they get in my eyes all the time. Like, when they do something, I'll be like, and you can even do this curse on a wear. Somebody can give you the evil eye and you don't even know it. And then you got the curse on you. Anyway, the, the movie's about, it's called The Evil Eye. It's about this mom, India mom. She lives in New Delhi who's real protective over her daughter, you know. But she's also trying to get her married and set up with these men. And, but she's real persistent about it. She's real. She wants to make sure her daughter's getting married to like the right man. And I guess because something in the mom's past... I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but something in the mom's past, she had bad relationships, problems, and and I guess got the curse, and she's always making sure her daughter's wearing the little amulet. Her daughter kind of met somebody, but it's not somebody the mom, well, you know, picked out for. I don't want to give it away. These Blumhouse movies are kind of hit or miss for me. Mostly miss. I, I'm sorry. I mean, I know they're suspenseful and thriller, and I'm going to tell you, at the end, there's always a crazy, like, what just happened? I love that. But for me, the other parts are kind of slow, you know? I saw the lie, I thought, in the middle, I kind of got tired of it a little slow. I thought this evil eye kind of got a little slow in the middle. So that was my biggest problem with this right. one. She's worried about her daughter. All right, how many times you going to call on the phone? Because I know that cell phone bill you got calling from New Delhi, New Orleans is pretty big. The thing that always saves it for me is the end, like on the lie. The ending when I saw that, I was like, what? And now this one, I'm like, did this just happen? <laughs> you know? So I think that's the thing and, and probably the thing that has people kind of drawn to these Blumhouse movies is, is even though it's slow, I, the plot's interesting, but the end is always like this crazy little twist that you don't expect. So I enjoyed it. Like I said, it, it was a mixture of like where I was born, New Orleans, my place of birth with my love for Indian and New Delhi and the family. And I didn't even know about this evil eye curse. Now I know. And now y'all gonna go watch it and go tell me, <laughs> tell me if you think somebody gave you an evil eye and where I could get one of those amulets because I kind of need it. All right, y'all, if you've seen it, let me know. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!